Arts consultant, sort of a self-funded social scientist, working at this for the last 40 years. Uh, I first got involved with HPT around 1961, and I was a freshly minted MBA from the University of Michigan, and I met a professor who was forming an, an organization off campus called the Institute for Behavioral Research and Program Instruction, and I went there as the business manager. And lo and behold, after about three months of working with this group of people, I found out there was no business to be managed, and so I got interested in the technical side of the business, and therein I met a fellow named Dale Brethauer, who was uh, on campus at that time, and uh, so subsequently uh, I formed the Center for Program Learning for Business with an old professor of mine, former professor of mine, George Odiorn. We set up the center, we set up a workshop for program learning. Dale Brethauer subsequently became a major faculty member in that course, and uh, I went from there on to becoming Tom Gilbert's partner in uh, New York, 1969, and yada yada from that point on. So big influences in my life regarding HPT, the three big ones, I guess, would be uh, Dale Brethauer, who taught me both the, the uh, Skinner models, uh, behavior modification, and uh, introduced me to the general systems model. Uh, Tom Gilbert, who I worked with for a number of years, and then George Odiorn, my professor at Michigan, who then became sort of my partner in our Center for Program Learning for Business. Uh, at the University of Michigan. One of the interesting applications from, from my experience was uh, done a few years ago with one of the large retail organizations at 1,400 stores in the U.S. and uh, a very smart man who was the vice president of personnel at that time had looked at the variability in the performance of those stores and realized that on a scale of something to something that the stores were scattered all over. And uh, he further took a look at what the high end of that business was and realized that if they could, in fact, get the majority of stores producing anything like the folks at the high end, there was a lot of dollars to be made for this company. And uh, he had been a graduate of uh, our workshops back at the University of Michigan. So we set about to identify what, were the, what was the exemplary performance at that high end of that distribution, and then what was in those stores in the way of processes and management that made the difference. And we then built basically a model, an exemplary model of what a store had to do and the people in it to be successful. So then we took those components and developed a basic process overlay for uh, the stores, identified critical roles for everybody in the store, and produce a training program that made it possible to really change how business was done in those stores. And at the same time, I realized a critical level was a district manager over stores. They had a lot to do with people being, with it being exemplary stores. And so we developed a model for an exemplary district manager and uh, then a management system for district managers, planning, et cetera, et cetera. And, uh, and that whole system from district manager down the store got implemented over uh, nine months time and uh, and a very interesting thing came out of all that which was there was no big increase overall in the performance of the stores but what did happen during that time that they implemented this was a major recession and the whole industry took a hit and the uh, sponsors felt that this had been a very successful effort because they did not lose any market share during that period of time. So there was no growth during that time, but there was also no loss of market share where the competitors took a, a serious hit. So that they took as evidence. So that's, that's an example of, uh, of an, an opportunity that, that we were able to work with our approach. And uh, I, I don't have an idea of how HPT contributed to that because I don't have an idea of what HPT is. Uh, so we did smart things based on the principles and models coming out of general systems theory, coming out of, out of the, the work of Skinner and Gilbert and Brethauer and others, and uh, it made a, big, made a big difference. So that's my story, and I'm sticking to it.